everybody, it's Becca. Um, I've been really busy lately, um, so I haven't done too many videos. I wanted to say thank you to all my viewers. You guys have returned, you know, to check out new stuff. So I wanted to put out a new video today. Um, this is based on some observations I made this weekend um, by bar hopping with some friends. And um, I don't want you to feel that I'm using my friends as test subjects. It's just observations that I'm making. And I wanted to help other people out so that, um, you know, it's, it's info that can be used to better all of ourselves. Um, so, here's what happened this weekend. I went to a very exclusive club, which was really nice. Um, but for some reason that night, the ratio, even at this really nice club, um, had so many more men than women. So women kind of seemed to hold a little bit more of an attitude um, towards men because they felt they could be picky and whatnot. Um, so I observed and I noticed that some of my guy friends were being treated um, not as well as they should have. Um, mind you, these guys have a big heart, they're very nice, and um, they're not afraid to treat a lady like a lady. The problem is, um, I think it kind of scares women off. Just like for confident women like myself, it has a tendency to scare a lot of guys off because um, we seem very direct and a lot of guys do not get that and they see it as a reason to run in the opposite direction. So a lot of us are on different levels. Um, some of us are more prepared and ready um, to move forward and others are just you know wanting something casual. There's nothing wrong with either, it's just that the most important part is finding the person that's on the same page, same level that you are. And that can be a big challenge. So, um, I noticed with my friend that he, right away after meeting this girl, texted her a couple times. I told him to stop and wait until the next day, till about 3 p.m. Because, you know, at the club with the nightlife, you kind of don't want to text somebody too early in the morning. They're probably trying to recover from the night before, sleeping in. So, you know, just kind of pull back a little. Um, and then I noticed that I had posted the previous videos about texting, and we were starting to live that out in color. And he was basically, um, you know, counting constantly how long it took for responses and things like that and reading and everything. So, people, I found this awesome app while doing some research. Mind you, it's not a free app, okay? It's $3.99, but well spent money, okay? Because what you're going to do is download this app in your app store and it's called Don't Text Him. Now, even if you're not in a situation where you need it, you're going to want to put it under notes and just write don't text him. For your friends, guys or girls, you can both use this app. Just turn the words so it's more geared towards you personally. And we all at some point in our lives are going to need this app. Um, many people are going through breakups and they're trying to fight the urge not to contact the other person, especially when they're out on the weekends and drinking. You don't want to contact that person. You don't want to stick yourself out there again. You wonder what the other person's going to think in return. Are they sitting in a group with their friends, showing off the text messages that you're sending, and laughing about it? I mean, if they're doing that, then you know what? You really don't need them to begin with. But um, anyways, what you're going to do is go ahead, purchase the app, open it up. Now, there's many options for after reading one you can switch to another one, a different quote. So, this one says, why do you want to contact a man who has hurt or demoralized you? Question mark. Don't text that man, exclamation point. Okay, so you get the urge to text somebody. They have not been really forthcoming or they have not responded within a decent amount of time. You're kind of left hanging. 
many times it's the chase. Many times we all, you know, go through that where it's like, oh my gosh, it starts to make us question ourselves because the other person isn't responding. So we're wondering why. Sometimes it's not even that we're into them. It's just the fact that they're not responding and we're taking it to heart. Okay, we don't like that. Okay, so you go ahead and you open the app and you read whatever that quote is. And it's supposed to get you to think twice before sending a text. It's pretty damn genius. And I wish I had come up with it. Um, I would love to do a different rendition of that app. Um, but for now, you know, I have it on my phone. I'm going to share it with people I know that need it. And um, I think it's something that you should have on you when you go out. Um, everybody's going to rebound, okay? It's just a matter of life. You're going to get out of a relationship and you're basically going to, the next person that you get involved with is going to be a rebound. Doesn't mean that it's not going to work out. It could work out for a longer period of time than expected. It could be the one, okay? The point is you never know until you try and you have to go through the process of moving on in your life. So, I want you all to know that I've observed and seen a lot of people going through this. And do not question yourself. Do not, if the other person doesn't reply to your text messages or whatnot, I want you to realize that you are a good person. You just might be more confident and more prepared than the other person is. And that's not a bad thing. It just means that you're looking for that one in a million type of person that shares the same commitment and the same you know ability to see past everything and become mature you're looking for that person of course you're gonna hit a bunch of idiots along the way it's just gonna happen it's life do not alter yourself okay do not stop being you because this person is making you question whether you're good-looking or whatever okay just listen to me when I tell you you are worth it download the app and Take it little by little and move on with your life. Confidence is sexy to a lot of people that matter. And I hope you have a great day. See you guys later.